Pashtuno and no one speaks English, so I'm trying to find my bus. Um, I am completely going off the books right now because my hostel did not tell me the correct way of getting to where I was going. So this is interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Today is going to be an interesting day. I am going to take you around the Buddha side of Budapest. The last time I was here, I stayed at the Pest side, so I wanted to give you a different spin on it. Um, yeah, we're going to go look around. That's where we're going for our first stop in Budapest. Their equivalent of Lady Liberty, called the Citadel. First, we have to climb up that low mountain. If you know me, you know I hate hiking. But for the purposes of showing you one of my favorite cities, I will climb the mountain. Walking trail to the Citadel. Up this the last time I was here I tried to do this but they were preparing for their Independence Day so they blocked off the top so I got like three quarters of the way up this mountain only to be barred off by yellow caution tape so hopefully they're not celebrating anything this time in the shop <laughs> I always do that just so that you all know that I was actually there and this is not just me editing together videos that I found online and I think that's what you should do with all your pictures and videos that you make you should do it without you in it and then do it again with you in it just so that people know hey he was actually there Breathing heavily. I'm kinda I'm kinda in at a at a fork. I'm kinda at a fork in the road kinda place. You see, I'm trying to get up to her. See? Right up to her. Um there's that way that you know it's kinda seedy. Then there's this way, you know, all lush and green, but she's facing that way. So I feel like if the entrance to pop up would be on that side. Uh, okay, I don't know what to do. Any, mini, mini, mo, catch a tiger by its throat when you're ready. Let him go any mini bunny mo. Okay. Alright. The citadel. Now a tourist attraction for senior people. Parliament building is right there. 
palace is right here. And I'm right here. <laughs> This is nice, eh? This is the Citadel. Again, Hungary's Lady Liberty. Okay, that was a good little workout. So now I'm going to head to the Gellert. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. The ba the bats here. Budapest is known as the city of bats. There are thousands of thermal hot springs all around the city. So there are all these different bathhouses that the locals go to. So doing that today. Okay, Budapest at night is by far one of the most beautiful cities that I've ever been to. You can see there are so many bridges here. This camera is not doing it justice, but it's... I love it. I love coming to Budapest. I'm looking for something to eat. There's this amazing scenery outside. Hopefully there's like a pub or a bar or something that I could just get something to eat. It's like 10 o'clock. Thank you. 
very much. Okay. I am about to do something that might be slightly illegal. I'm going to sneak in, well, try to sneak into the palace at night. Now, I've seen people walking up the stairs, so technically I might not be sneaking in at all. I might just be going in. So, let's see how far we can get through the palace gates. Okay, I see some people, I think. Okay, and oh. nice view, right? Eh? That's the parliament building in the background there. Oof. Yeah, impressive, eh? Okay, let's see how far we can. Ooh, he means business. Okay. This is not scary at all. Open like this, okay. Let's go. Should I take it the escalators? This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. I just walked up those stairs and I'm winded. I need to take a moment. Okay. There is a random open door. Does this mean I can go inside? open uh, yeah I'm gonna go back down I don't like the looks of this nope not at all let's go my sister gave me advice she said San Jose if you see shit going down go the other way and that looks like some shit was gonna go going to go down Still walking, but I mean, come on, right? <laughs> Incredible. Now, if you don't know, Hungary used to be a part of the Austro Hungarian Empire. Um, half of it being Hungary, half being Austria. The Archduke um, Ferdinand was basically the guy who got assassinated and started for World War I. After that, there was no more Austro-Hungarian Empire.
Ba ba ka lu ke ra ka ke su ba ka lu ba ka lu ke ra ka. O ga ka lu ke ra ka mi lu ba ka lu ba ka su ke la na. A la ka u lu ku ba sa mi lu ba ka tu la ka su ke na la. Ba ba ka lu ke ra ka ke su ba ka lu ba ka su ke ra ka. Oga kalu ke ra ka mi lu ba ka lu ba ka su ke la na. Ala ka u ku ba sa mi lu ba ka tu la ka su ke na la.